Okay, so 1.2 is on variables and data types. So to start a variable, you're going to put the data type. So let's say we want to make a string variable. Uh, we're going to put the name of the variable. So we'll just call this uh, var, uh, V-A-R. And then you're going to hit the equal sign to do some more stuff and give it a value. So let's give it a value. Remember, strings are within close quotations, double quotations. And we just could write uh, this is a string and this is going to be case sensitive so the only capital capitalized letter is going to be a t and then the space uh, is going to be shown if we print them out so to print out a variable we can do system.out.println var is the variable name uh, and when we print this out it's going to print out here we go one day this is a string we can also print out two strings so let's do st uh, string uh, we'll do another as the name and this is another string and let's use the same print line statement, and we're just going to print out a uh, variable and another. So var and another, we're going to print out both of them, and you're going to probably see that they're going to be kind of conjoined. There's no space between them. There's no period. How are we going to fix this? Well, to add a period to both of them, we just add a period at the end of them. Make sure it's before our quotations end. And to do a space, we have to have a space in between one of the quotations. Now, if we put it at the beginning and end sorry, at the beginning of the second one and end of the first one, we're going to have two spaces when we print them out. So we're just going to do uh, one space. And let's do it uh, before this starts on another. So here we go. We can do this is a string, and it's going to print out this is another string. And see, we have a space here. Another thing we could do is we can remove the space for both the variables. Maybe we want to print out uh, them one at a time. And here, we can actually put in another string to print out. So we can do var plus a set of closed quotations, uh, double quotations, with a space, and then another. So when we print this out again, it's going to print, this is a string, plus a space, plus this is a, another string. So that's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so we're going to move on from that, and we're going to move on to our primitive data types. Can I spell primitive data types? And there's three that you need to know for AP Computer Science. Hey, and those are our integers, doubles, and booleans. So uh, integers, these are our whole numbers. Doubles have decimals, so you can think of D and D. And then booleans are either true or false. And we're going to uh, make some variables for these. Uh, yay. OK, so let's do a variable for an integer, I and T. Uh, these are going to be uh, lowercase. Really, the only variable that's going to be capitalized for the data type is going to be string with a capital S. Everything else is going to be lowercase. So we're going to do integer. We can call this num. 1, and we can just give it the value of 10. Uh, we could do integer num2 and actually give it the value of num1. So what this is going to do is num2 is going to have the value of 10 because it is going to be equal to num1. So we print out uh, with two print line statements, num1, and then we do system.out.println num2. It's going to print out two lines because we have uh, ended two lines. Uh, and it's going to print out 10 and 10 because num1 is equal to 10 and num2 is equal to num1. So the value is going to be 10. Very, very cool. Uh, maybe we could do uh, a double as well. So we can do double num1 equals uh, 10.5. Now, when we use a variable name, we cannot reuse this. We can't do integer num1. We can't do that because variable name num1 has already been used. So let's write another double num2, and it's going to be equal to 11.0. Now, we can't do double num3 equals 11. We have to have the .0. If we wanted to do 11, we can make this an integer num3. So we can print out our numbers, uh, and we'll space them out. So we're going to do what we did earlier with our strings. We're going to space them out by adding uh, a space in our print line statement. So we're going to do num1 plus with a space plus num2 Let's put space there, plus num3. And we don't have to put a space there because that's our last number. We're going to put a semicolon at the end of our statement. Make sure you're doing that because I'm sure some people are getting errors by not putting their semicolons in. And there we go. When we print it out, it's going to print out one line because we have one print line statement. And it's going to print out 10.5, 11.0, and 11.1. .1. What if we wanted to separate these by commas? Then what we're going to do is that we're just going to put commas before our spaces start in our strings. And we're just going to add all these together as if they were you know, strings. Now, what if we add, wanted to add 11.0 and 11 together uh, and place that as one number? So we're going to print out two numbers, 10.5 and 11.0 plus 11. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this comma here in that, uh, what's it called, string. And what we're going to do is that we're going to do num1 plus comma space plus 
num2 plus num3. So it's going to pronounce a number there. So it's going to pronounce 11.0 plus 11. Uh, so it's going to print out uh, the number conjoined together. Now, why is it doing that? Uh, it's not adding the numbers together. Uh, and I'll show you to do that in just a second. Uh, it's going to just kind of put them together because we have a string here, and it's not really formatted uh, correctly to do that. Plus, the values are different. We have a double 11.0 and an integer 11. So that's just something that you should keep in mind. Now, some other things you need to know about, about variables is that each variable has associated memory that is used to hold its value. And the memory associated with the variable of a primitive data type, which are integers, doubles, and booleans, hold an actual primitive uh, value. Now let's move on to booleans, and we're actually going to declare a boolean final. Uh, and we're going to put boolean after that, and I'll show you what final does in just a second. And we're going to give it a name, we'll give it the name value, we're going to set it equal to false. Uh, and false is going to be our boolean value, because booleans can only return true or false. Now what does final mean? Final means the value of a variable cannot be changed. So if we rename, not rename, reassign value uh, and make it true, it's going to give us an error. And I'll actually show you this error. Uh, right now. So when I run my code, it's going to see, oh, this variable is final, but we're reassigning it to true. That's not allowed. And it's going to give me an error here. So I'm not allowed to do that. I'm going to have to make another uh, Boolean variable. I'm going to call it value 2 and I set it equal to true. And you can actually uh, print out uh, Booleans as well. And I did this in the 1.1 part. Uh, so we can print out val2 plus uh, value. And we can print out, let's see what happens when we print these out together. Uh, I want to show you this. So we can print out val2 plus value, two booleans. We're actually getting an error. You cannot do this. You cannot print out two booleans in the same print line. Uh, you can't do that. So we can just print out one of them. So we'll print out uh, value2. What's, val what's the value of value2, our variable name? Uh, and it's true. So it's going to just print out true. And true and false have all lowercase letters. Some other languages have a capital F or capital T. Java, you cannot do that. And yeah, that is 1.2 for AP Computer Science A. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. It's free. It really does help me out. In the description down below, I have some AP Computer Science MCQs and FRQ helps uh, that I think you'll find very beneficial for this unit. I'll see you guys in the next video. I do have more videos. Of course, adios.